yeah, we've got the Brits on yes. Saturday, man. How excited yes. are you? This is your first time, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I know you, you've been a few times already, but for me, it's my first time at the Brits Awards this year. So I'm really excited to go. Uh, yeah. I'm also super uh, curious to, to see the UK vibe because I don't think there's, there's probably a lot of international, international artists, but as one of them, I'm super excited to see how it's going to go. 100%, so, man. I'm, I'm glad to be there for your first, you know. Maybe, we're gonna, maybe it's like, you know, when people go to a casino and they bet their very first bet and they win. Maybe like you're the maybe you're the the good chip, the good poker chip that we need to win. <laughs> I hope that would be insane. So for the people that are watching, you are nominated for international track of the year. For where are you now? Um, maybe we can talk a little bit about the track. It's been a, it's been a long time. It's out now. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I, I was looking. Th I was looking back through my calendar. And we released that song in July twenty one. That's possible. <laughs> Something crazy like that, right? Because it was like a full year before it started really yeah, going. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. And so then, true. like, you know, it's still being played now, and now we're nominated in 23. It's just, it's mad considering it's like a two year full journey. I mean, and it's still going on. It's still going. I mean, some of my friends were saying the other day, they're like, it's still, we're still hearing it on radio, we're still playing it on Nights Out. I'm super, super proud of it, man. I yeah, mean, me did you? Yeah, it, it, you. <laughs> it's, yeah man. It's funny because I've been I've been talking to press about the song all day, and, and we were saying uh, in the interviews they were like, you know, did you see this happening? Did you think that you two collaborating would have this kind of an impact on people? And I was like, no, because <laughs> I remember when I sent the vocals over to you on that first little demo, and I was like. I've recorded these, I'm not quite sure, like, let me know what you think, and you text me back, and you was like, these are great, these will make the record, and I was like, <laughs> Yo, calm down. Um, but I suppose it's just like, it's one of those things that I don't, I don't think, I don't think either of us probably expect, I know that neither of us aim, you know, we're not going, oh, well, this needs to be award nominated. I think you just go in and go in, no, let's yeah. try and make the best track, right? No, I, ne I never, I never, think that my music is going to be uh, uh, nominated, especially for such a big award. So uh, it's, uh, it's, really, it's really a crazy thing that it's still right here at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I also want to say that the track in the beginning was seven minutes long. And uh, like it was a really, very, very long track. And thanks to you and your vocals, I, was man I managed to chop it up and use the right spots. I got inspired by how you performed the track. So uh, yeah. So uh, one of the questions here for the Brits Award is, uh, what are your three goals for the future? Future. What are what are my three? What story, bro? Goals. Three goals for the future. Um, uh, a goal for the near future would be to win a Brit Award with yourself. That's a that's, <laughs> that's a great goal. Um, and then I want I want to I want to tour again. I'm I'm doing a little bit of touring this year, but I'd love to I'd love to tour again extensively, and. Uh, and I'd love to, I'd love to, to um, expand my, my, my reach. I think like I, I kind of want to push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and sort of dip my toe into like TV and film maybe and see, see, see what I can do. Just, just to see what I'm made of, you know? Nice. Yeah, well, I, to be honest, uh, uh, Felix, for me, working with you and having this, monster of a song with you right has kind of inspired me beyond what i thought it would do because i've always thought of myself as the ballad guy right ever since my, my, i released that on my own and you know had had success with that song the new other reason had success with that i just feel like my calling in life is to write music that's going to make people feel right and hit them straight in the heart so then I also think like, what else would I want to do? And then when I started working with you and I started realizing that actually my voice can lend itself to, to dance yeah. music. It's, and I it's, thought, oh, well maybe, yeah, maybe I can do more than I give myself credit for. So I'm kind of trying to be a little bit ambitious about that. But not, yeah. not, not enough about me. What are your three goals for the future? Mm, I think uh, I, uh, now I'm in the studio right now, I'm working on the album. So I'm looking forward to finally release an album in 23. Yeah. A new one. We need well, a no, frequency no. album, bro. We need one. <laughs> <laughs> and too then, many uh, hits, bro. You've got too many hits. 
the, 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 the label likes to release music very slowly. So this year into the 23, I'm going to step it up and release more music because, uh, yeah, I want, well, want to release more stuff. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? That people are saying now, like, you know, fine. I was listening to a thing by um, Rick Rubin. He's just released a new book. And he was saying, just get used to putting things out. You know, put something out if it excites you and you want to play it for your friends, then release it, you know? And I, and I think that's a really brave thing to do because me and you worked on that song and then we put that out as the single and then kind of just left it and, and, and worked it and, and pushed it and, and did promotion and, and, and gigs. And, that, and we, know, we performed it. Performed it, Tomorrowland, uh, Ushuaia, uh, some festivals in France, Germany. I mean, it's huge, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been sick. But we, it almost feels like just to counter what Ruben, Ruben was saying is we worked on that so hard. That's that's maybe why it became what it became is because we put soul focus into that song. So I suppose there's never a real answer, I guess. Um, but I mean, I suppose at the end of the day, bro, we we can do with some lost frequencies music. So you keep putting those out. They'll get locked up. And, <laughs> and you also just released a new track with Jack Jones, huh? Yeah, man. Comes out tomorrow. Very excited about that. Uh, very excited about getting back in and doing dance music again and, and, and enjoying that side of things. I mean, you know from me working with you how much I love jumping out of my own project and doing something new and, and enjoyable. Um, yeah. But yeah, man. I didn't um, hear it. Say again? I didn't hear the full version yet. Oh, I'll send you it. <laughs> I'll send you that. I'll send you that. going on online. It's fun, bro. What are you um, What are you excited about the Brits? What's, what's, what's the kind of thing that is exciting you most about being there? Is it like that? Is it? I, I was just, yeah, I was just thinking today about about the fact that what I'm super excited about is that I'm I'm gonna travel for one of the first time for my work, but I'm actually not gonna have to do anything about for it. I'm not gonna have to perform. I'm not gonna have to do. I think on the red carpet there's gonna be some interviews, but it's gonna be relaxed, and it's mostly gonna be surrounded by all amazing artists and being surrounded with amazingness. So I think I'm most excited about the fact that I'm going to sit in a, in a room with so much talent and being able to see a few cool performances at the Brits also. Um, so yeah, it's, it's my first big award show like this uh, in, in the UK. So um, I'm really stoked it's to just be go sick. kind of like a weekend. Yeah, it's going to be sick. It's yeah. I, remember, I remember like, you know, when, whenever you uh, are with somebody where you've had the, you know, the, the opportunity to do it before, when you're with somebody who's doing it for the first time, you almost see it through a new pair of eyes. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... This one's... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quite excited to like see you enjoy the bricks in the same way that I did when I first went, because it's just, it's quite like overwhelming, like seeing people, you're like, oh, there's Liz on there. Oh shit, Taylor Swift. Like, it just feels quite like mad to be in that space, surrounded by that talent, like you said, there's, some, there's going to be some amazing performances, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I mean, I must say, we're in one of the hardest categories, Felix. What? Best international, I said we're in one of the most difficult categories. I mean, Taylor yes, Swift, <laughs> Beyonce, Lizzo. I'm like, the nomination. I'm just happy we're nominated. I'm not. That's I'm not exactly it. That's what I yeah. said. That's what I said. It's cool to be nominated. It's cool to have the nod from the, you know, the dolphin of the cat from the industry. And I feel yeah. like that's enough, you know? And we're invited. <laughs> and we're invited and we're going to drink. So I, I'm going to see you there, I guess. Yeah. Have you, have you decided what you're wearing? Have you got your suit ready? I'm, I'm, I'm mailing at the moment with a brand I like and they should, be, they should give me the green light uh, today, or, today or tomorrow. So I hope it's going to go, come through. Yeah, fingers crossed, bro. You'll be going like t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah otherwise I'm going to have to, uh, to, to wing it. <laughs> yeah, man. Sure. Well, to, to be You're fair, we just, did a, we just did a suit fitting just now before the live and I was going through the stuff and I was like, oh, nothing fits me because I've like, of Christmas time, Drinking a lot of wine, eating a lot of chocolate, like my waistline's bigger, my, my chest is bigger, and I'm really? like, yeah. <laughs> so like, we're, we're hopefully we're gonna be we're gonna be able to get something sorted. But we we've had some we've had some amazing people reach out, Alexander McQueen, Dolce Gabbana, two that I absolutely love. So 
fingers crossed. Nice. Or else we're just gonna both end up wearing. Yeah, we're gonna both end up wearing like track suits. <laughs> Imagine. Um, worst case, just a shirt, and then I'd be fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And everybody, everybody whips things off at the after party anyway. That's that's the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in Belgium right now. Yes, I'm in Belgium right now. I'm in the, I'm in the studio. I'm working. Sick, oh. man. So, uh, that's, uh, that's my sweet spot. I didn't know you had that few, huge rack of keyboards, bro. Come, coming in, coming in hot. Jeez. Yes. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to have to get in. Yeah, you, you're more than welcome. I don't know when you're coming to Belgium, but you can always come drop here. 100%, 100%. Um, what, what are they asking for? Last, last few questions, sir. Um, how does it feel to perform the song together? Are there any stories you can share? Uh, yes, uh, I can <laughs> say every, every, every time I play the track, like I have, we have a special version. I, I mean, I have a special version. I play my sets that I only play when you come, um, which is like an extended version of the original, but uh, not during the live show, but during the DJ sets. And every time you come, people get so excited. It's so, such a, like, it's my moment where I can, I can lace my shoes or I can chill out. <laughs> I can feel because you're taking over, and uh, <laughs> it's always amazing to see that when you come on stage, everybody immediately recognizes you and sing sing along. And I feel I feel like the energy you get from the crowd, like suddenly you're so happy, and uh, it's such an amazing connection. Also, when you come back with me in the booth, I really like to do it. Yeah, man. It, do, do you know what? Like last summer when we were playing those shows, it just felt so like it felt so good because it's like we're pals, you know, we're 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 good friends now. We're, when we meet up and get to perform the song and people are singing it and then we get to hang backstage and have a nice drink and a chill and catch up. Like, it just feels like you're going around the world yeah. singing your songs with your friends. Is that what like One of the best memories was when you had a, um, you had a, a DJ spot at the top of the Five Hotel. Um, was it the Penthouse, I think it was called? Yes, yes, yes. And so you did your DJ set and I came along just to hang out with you and, and, and drink. And then when you played Where Are You Now, you were like, oh, and Callum's here. And I came to the front like, shit. <laughs> and then we just sang the song. And then after we performed the song, do you remember the guy was getting bottles and bottles and bottles of Cristal and was like, celebration. And we were like, no more, no more. <laughs> it was so much. But it was so good, man. I had such a good time all across Dubai. I mean, playing it on, on, the, on the beach in Dubai. Ushuaia, Tomorrowland, twice. Was yes, that was impressive. It was impressive. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was incredible. I mean, especially Tomorrowland where you look out and it's just people for miles. It's just unbelievable. But I've had such a good time with you, man, releasing this song and working with you on it and watching people listen to it all over their holidays and all over their summer. Yes. And so it feels like this nomination is just, just the, the best way to kind of like... If there was no, if there was, if there was nothing more that could happen to be nominated for a Brit with it, it's just like the cherry on the cake. I don't think we saw coming, right? I was gonna say it. I was gonna say it. It's a really nice a cherry, cherry on top of things with this track. It's really yeah. incredible. Yeah, I keep seeing people saying we should collaborate again. So I mean, I feel like who knows? Who knows? I feel like it's <laughs> a done deal, bro. I feel like I feel like I need to come over to Belgium and get another hit under our belts. <laughs> well, you can always come and drop here for sure. Absolutely, man. Well, listen, I will leave you to crack on in the studio. Thank you so much for the Brits yes. for allowing us to do this. Um, Thank you for the talk. Summer. And see you, uh, see you on the red carpet. I'll see you on the red carpet, bro. Yes. Take care, Bye, man. Thanks, everybody. Have a good evening. Cheers, boys.